Neptune has fascinated scientists ever since its discovery. However, nothing can compare to the attention it's been getting lately, and that is because of strange happenings that scientists are noticing. What exactly is happening on Neptune? Why is it generating so much excitement? And can the same thing happen on planet Earth? Join us as we dive into how scientists just detected something massive happening on Neptune for the first time. Neptune is one of the most striking planets in the solar system. It has some remarkable physical features and characteristics. However, something strange is occurring on planet Neptune, and it's left scientists that study it scratching their heads. While some explanations have been given as the cause, nothing concrete has come up yet, and they continue to look for answers. Planet Neptune's temperature is expected to be dropping based on measurements using powerful instruments. However, readings indicate the opposite is happening. Neptune experienced an unexpected and dramatic bump in temperature. What's the cause? Is the planet also suffering from global warming? And what are the consequences of the sudden temperature change? To understand this properly, let's first take a quick look at some background info about Neptune. When you mention Neptune, you are talking about some of the coldest temperatures and fastest winds in the solar system. Quite an odd combination, but that is what Neptune really is. The planet is the least explored planet in the solar system, and the reason is not far-fetched. Neptune is located 2.8 billion miles from the Sun, or about 30 times the distance between the Sun and the Earth. Neptune was actually discovered based on mathematical calculations. Its presence was exposed by the observation of gravitational pull on planet Uranus. The calculations helped to predict the location and mass of the planet before it was sighted with the help of a telescope. Neptune's atmosphere is made up of mostly hydrogen and helium. However, the little methane that is present absorbs red light, giving it a deep blue hue. If you go beneath the atmosphere, you will find an ocean of water, ammonia, and methane squeezed by intense pressures into a semi-solid state. This is why Neptune is given the nickname of the Ice Giant. Of course, the ice on Neptune is not the same as the one you find in your freezer. Temperatures on Neptune may reach minus 201 degrees Celsius or minus 331 degrees Fahrenheit. Neptune has a strong and unusually complex magnetic field, which scientists say may be caused by electric currents flowing through the icy ocean. How did Neptune form? That has not been confirmed, neither has the source of water been found yet. The problem with the origin of Neptune is that the disk of dust and gas that formed our solar system probably didn't contain enough material to form Neptune at its current location from the Sun. One of the prevailing theories is that it was probably born closer to the Sun before moving outward. Even though science says the Sun would have evaporated its water had Neptune been too close. And of course, scientists are still interested in figuring out where Neptune came from because it can help explain the origin of the Earth itself. Neptune has a collection of 14 known moons, and half of them are suspected of having been captured by the planet's gravity rather than forming in place. It has one moon, Triton, big enough to be spherical. This moon has some characteristics of a planet, including a complex icy surface and thin nitrogen atmosphere, and may have started off as a free-roaming dwarf planet. Geysers of nitrogen erupt from Triton's surface that may be coming from a subsurface water ocean. You can't describe Neptune and not talk of its rings. The planet has a set of rings made up of cold, icy particles. Due to the distance of Neptune, spacecraft take a long time to get to it from the Earth. Only one spacecraft has ever reached Neptune, and that was the Voyager 2, which took off from the Earth in 1977. It arrived at the planet in 1989. One of the special features of Neptune is the winds. They can reach as fast as 2100 kilometers per hour. Astronomers say the winds may be driven by heat coming from deep within the planet. In fact, Voyager 2 documented storms raging across the face of the planet, the largest being an Earth-sized anticyclone similar to Jupiter's famous Great Red Spot. You can compare that to winds on the Earth that can reach about 250 miles per hour at the maximum. As we mentioned before, Neptune has a complex magnetic field. It doesn't cleanly intersect the planet's core and is tilted significantly away from the north and south poles. What is now baffling scientists about Neptune is what astronomers from the University of Leicester have discovered. The planet's temperature is mysteriously changing, altering a pattern it is known for. On the basis of observations covering the past 17 years, 
Scientists discovered a consistent drop in the planet's temperature, which has suddenly been interrupted by dramatic warming at its south pole. Thermal infrared images taken between 2003 and 2018 showed the planet cooling by about 8 degrees Celsius until, at the end of that cycle, the temperature at its south pole shot up by about 11 degrees Celsius. Of course, Neptune's atmosphere has been a source of wonder for many reasons. For instance, not long ago, scientists spotted a curious dark storm there, abruptly reversing its direction, something that had never been observed before. The storm, measured at 4,600 miles across, more than the distance between London and Miami, was spotted using NASA's Hubble Space Telescope. It has been raging in the gas giant's northern hemisphere since at least 2018, and was slowly drifting towards the planet's equator, where such storms were expected to dissipate. But instead of going gently to its death, as scientists expected, the vortex abruptly changed course and doubled back to the north. The change in direction wasn't the only strange thing, though. Hubble saw another smaller dark spot near the largest storm. The scientists suspect it may have been a piece of the giant vortex that broke off and drifted away before disappearing. According to NASA, the storm's dark appearance may be due to an elevated dark cloud layer, and it could be telling astronomers about the storm's vertical structure. The space agency mentioned another unusual feature of the dark spot, which is the absence of bright companion clouds around it, which were present in Hubble images taken when the vortex was discovered in 2018. It is possible that the clouds disappeared when the vortex halted its southward journey. The bright clouds form when the flow of air is perturbed and diverted upward over the vortex, causing gases to likely freeze into methane ice crystals. There had been two other storms that were sighted by Voyager 2, but they had dissipated by the time Hubble could have monitored them. Just like the Earth, Neptune experiences different seasons as it goes around the Sun. Where the difference lies is the length of the seasons. A season on Neptune lasts around 40 years. But that is not surprising as a year on Neptune is 165 Earth years. For instance, Neptune has been in summer in the Southern Hemisphere since 2005, and astronomers were eager to see how temperatures were changing following the Southern Summer Solstice. Astronomers poured over nearly 100 thermal infrared images of Neptune, captured over a 17-year period, to piece together overall trends in the planet's temperature in detail. They realized that even though Southern Summer started, most of the planet had gradually cooled over the last two decades. The planet's average temperature dropped by 8 degrees Celsius between 2003 and 2018. The last thing the astronomers expected was the sudden warming of Neptune's south pole during the last two years that they took observations when temperatures rapidly rose by 11 degrees Celsius between 2018 and 2020. Of course, they had known about Neptune's warm polar vortex for many years. What was new was such rapid polar warming. The astronomers took measurements of Neptune's temperature with the aid of thermal cameras measuring the infrared light emitted from astronomical objects. The team combined all the images of Neptune that scientists have gathered over the last two decades using ground-based telescopes. They investigated infrared light emitted from a layer of Neptune's atmosphere called the stratosphere. This allowed the team to build up a picture of Neptune's temperature and its variations during part of its southern summer. Of course, measuring Neptune's temperature is no easy task. Remember, it is billions of miles away from the Earth, and the temperature drops to about minus 220 degrees Celsius. As such, scientists could only have access to data from recently, like 20 years or so. This is the time we have had very sensitive infrared images from large telescopes. About one-third of all the images observed came from the VLT Imager and Spectrometer for Mid-Infrared, or Vizier instrument, which is located on ESO's VLT in Chile's Atacama Desert. Thanks to its mirror size and altitude, the telescope boasts a very high resolution and data quality. These enabled astronomers to take the clearest images of Neptune. The team also imported data taken by NASA's Spitzer Space Telescope and images captured with the Gemini South Telescope in Chile. Other contributing telescopes include the Subaru Telescope, the Keck Telescope, and the Gemini North Telescope, all in Hawaii. But why is what is happening on Neptune a concern for us? Well, Neptune has an average diameter of almost 50,000 kilometers, which is about four times wider than the Earth. Neptune and its neighbor Uranus are known as ice giants, different from the gas giants Jupiter and Saturn. Neptune, however, is like those other planets in the sense that it lacks a solid surface. 
has an extremely dynamic atmosphere, mainly of hydrogen and helium, the small amount of methane, atop a mantle, mostly of slushy ammonia and water, and a solid core. This means some of the observations on Neptune may apply to similar planets in the solar system. A good understanding of the phenomenon will help explain some mysteries on the other planets, and outside the solar system, Neptune may help us to understand exoplanets. One of the scientists that have studied Neptune and its bizarre change in temperature said the close relationship that Neptune may share with a large segment of the population of exoplanets means that it may be an exoplanet in our own backyard. Neptune may be frigid, but it's still a great model for the things scientists expect to see in the meteorology of many exoplanets. Let's hear what you think of the wild temperature changes on planet Neptune in the comments section below.